recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should hope, should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. Come on, you can do better than that. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Everybody. I told Satan. Come on.
Listen. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Lord has made. I will. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad. Oh.
done great things. He has done. Lift your voice. He has done. He has done great things. He has done great things. He has done great One more time. I will bless the Lord. I will bless. I will Come on. bless the Lord. Oh my soul. Oh my soul. And all. And all. And all that, that, that is within me. Bless the Lord.
Family Worship Center. On behalf of our pastor, Pastor Demetrius Beecham, and our elect lady, Lady Vicki Beecham, we would like to welcome you to our morning worship services. This is the month of August. Our theme for the month is Prophetic Manifestation, 2 Chronicles 20 and 20. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. This month is the month of diversity. We are the body of believers that is culturally diverse, where people of all ages, stages, and ethnic backgrounds join together as one in loving God, loving people, and serving humanity. Galatians 3 and 28. The youth department will be hosting our Vacation Bible School this Friday, August the 13th, in the form of a lock-in. All students will be asked to sign in by 9.30 p.m. and they will stay the night here at the Judah Worship Center to be picked up on Saturday. If you would like for your child to participate in this event, please sign up in the vestibule immediately after morning service. Our Family and Friends Day will take place on August the 15th at 5 p.m. Invite your family and your friends and neighbors to participate in this service and celebrate with us. On August the 21st, our Back to School School Supply Giveaway we are asking for everyone to be here at the Judah Worship Center at 10 a.m. If you have additional questions concerning this event, please see Sister Nisha Rector. On August the 28th, we will have our church picnic. This picnic will take place at 10.30 a.m. at Ballora. Please stay tuned for additional information concerning this event. Our baptism service has been moved to September the 5th at 5 p.m. If you would like to be baptized, please sign up in the vestibule. And now is the perfect time to take out your cellular device and share this morning's worship service with our online congregation. Also, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay connected by following us on Facebook and on Instagram and by picking up a monthly calendar outside in the vestibule. Now, join me in giving all of our visitors a hearty round of applause as we welcome them to the Judah Worship Center. If you would, if you need an envelope, could you just raise your hand and they will bring you a tithe. We just want to thank the Lord on today that we're able to give. Amen. God simply just asks for 10% of your earnings. You're not asking for 30, 40, 50, simply 10%. You make $100, all he desires from you is just $10. And that is it. With everything that God does for us, he over blesses us. He gives you the strength 
the mind, and everything that you need to do your job. Not only that, he bless you with a home, a place to stay. Keeps you safe, keep your children safe. He still was just asking for just for 10%. Nothing more, nothing less, 10%. Amen. As you get your gifts together, if you would, would you line up to my right? On this right side over here. And take your time as you're getting your gifts together. thank you for this gift that we're able to give today. We believe by faith you're going to bring increase into our life and we stand together with one voice in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands for all the ones who are supporting the church. We're 100% tied this year. We're 100% givers at this ministry. Come on, clap your hands for the Spirit of the Lord, amen, that's in this building. Come on, you can do better than that. Come on, you ought to stand up on your feet, giving God some praise. He's, come on, he's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. He's, I got 10 people over here standing. He's worthy I got 12 standing. He's worthy of the praise. Come on, he's worthy of the praise. Come on, while you're standing, I want everybody to stand in the building. I want every person to stand this morning, this noontime hour. The Lord has blessed us indeed, and we thank God for all of our leaders and elders. Our praise team, we thank God for all of you. Amen, that are here. Our district missionary, amen, missionary Whitfield, say amen for her, amen, and come on, give her a hand praise, yes, who led us in prayer, amen, and good to see my lovely wife in the building this morning, amen, going on 25 years, you ain't saying nothing to me, amen, it's a blessing, amen, to be married to an angel from the Lord, uh, don't fly. You ain't got time to fly yet, baby. Stay right here. Amen. But I'm so thankful that hey, last Sunday she wasn't with us. Amen. But she's here this week. And we'll continue to pray for Mother Foster.
Come on. Are we praying? We're praying for Mother Foster. Amen. We're praying. And we believe in God for the miracle. Is that right? We believe in God for the miracle. And I thank God for all the ones who are watching. Amen. We got some people that's watching by Facebook. We want to thank God for them. Come on. Let's clap our hands for our cyber sanctuary. Come on. Clap our hands for the cyber sanctuary. Those who are watching. And now listen. I need you to do me a favor to get on your devices and share. Amen. Let them know they are welcome to come into our service. Amen. On today. Amen. What the Lord has a word for his people. How many of you believe that God has a word for his people today? Amen. We're praying for the Freeman family. Amen. Uh, Sister Keisha, Brother Marcus, and amen. Sister Tara. And we're praying. Come on. We're praying for them. Amen. We're praying for that family. We're praying for the Harris family. Tiffany. We're praying. Yes. Amen. Uh, I didn't get to make it, but I think one of the brothers made it to the service. Amen. Yes, they made it. And we're praying for Brother Stephen Davis. Lost his mother. We're praying for Brother Davis. Say amen for him. Amen. And we had one more. The Knight family. Where are they at? Well, the Knight and the man. Amen. All right. They, they need to come on out. We already we ready to hear the word. Amen. Everybody needs to be out here. Amen. We're praying for that family also. Amen. I try to make it to all of them. Amen. It wouldn't be about 10, 15 minutes. I want them to see my face. Amen. That we're concerned about the families. All right. Amen. Uh, see, we're in some times, amen, that, amen, death is all around us. And, I, and I'm and I'm going to stand on this. I know some people don't like it, but, amen, we just can't depend on our gloves and our masks and our shot. We got to depend upon the Lord. I got a, I got ten with me. Y'all come on now. We got, we got to depend upon the Lord. I ain't got five witnesses on that side. We got, we got to depend upon the Lord. Hallelujah. We don't know what's going on right here. We don't know what some of these wicked folks are doing. They probably, probably be shooting up something in the air. They probably be shooting up stuff in the air. Amen. I got an email saying, well, uh, wipe your hand on the pumps, gas pumps. Amen. And it, the, the virus been spread by the gas pumps. Amen. I, I was eating my barbecue plate and got me a little napkin. And uh, I said, this little napkin ain't, ain't even big enough for the pump. Big enough for pump here. Yeah. And I went to pumping my gas, believe in God. Now God protect me even while pumping gas. Amen, somebody. See, God know how to bring all of us back. I ain't got no witness. God know how to bring us all back. On oh, our bending knees. Shout out our hot shit. God know how to bring us back. And I'm believing God. See, the world then turned to God first, but they're going to be turning now. Amen. They got Delta out. And you'll have Southwest next. And you'll have Frontier, Spirit. You'll have all those type of viruses out there. You better get on to it. Yeah, amen, somebody. Amen. You better get on to it. Thank God for Brother Shaw helping us out this morning. Amen. Good to see Albert. Amen. On the base back over there. You turn it on up, Albert. You got clearance. Turn it up. Amen. Um, Brother Jones on the trumpet and Brother Mark. Amen. On the, I call him the insurance man. Amen. On the drums and Brother... Uh, if it's on that guitar. Say amen for these musicians. Amen. Amen. I invited somebody, amen, this morning. Amen. I just decided, amen, in the month of August, I'm going to take it just a little easy. I want to take Would that be all right? Just a little easy. And um, one thing I like about this young man here, he has a great spirit. You know, some people, you can't let everybody come preach at your church. Y'all ain't saying that to me. You can't let everybody, especially on Sunday morning, amen, come preach at your church. But he has an awesome spirit. A man that loves the Lord, has traveled across this country. Amen, somebody. Has traveled across this country. Amen. Now, I thought it would be fitting since he was already in Texas to come 
Amen. He preached last night. I think he preached somewhere in Texas tonight. Amen. It's from St. Louis. And I heard him at the Holy Convocation a couple years back. And the Lord really did use him. Amen. We've been trying to get him down this way. And I'm going to let somebody know you're in for a treat this morning. Come on, somebody. You're in for a treat this morning. Amen. So I want you to share. Amen. Let somebody know. Amen. That a prophet is in the house. And he come to confirm the word that has already been spoken in this house. Amen. I ain't letting him know nothing. I didn't try to whisper in his ear. Try to tell him hey, this and that and all. If God has for him to say something, he's going to say it. And I don't want him to hold back either. Amen, somebody. I don't want him to hold back either. Amen. I want him to say it. Y'all got a mic? Another mic for him? Amen. Come on. Let's get the moving around. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. All right. Now listen. As he come to this uh, pulpit, I want all the members to clap your hands and receive our guests. No other than Prophet Marcus Mickles, amen, from St. Louis. Let him know that he's welcome. Come on, saints. Clap your hands and bless his name, would you? Come on, church, and give him glory right there. Bless his name, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous have a place they can run into and they're safe. Oh, come on and bless him. Come on and give him glory. Come on and give him the honor. Oh, come on and bless him. Oh, Shabbat. He's already here. He's already moving. He's already doing it. Y'all, some of y'all still ain't clapping. Come on and throw your voice like a trumpet and let the devil know you got the victory. Come on, Judah Worship Center. Hey, how y'all, y'all? Oh, my shot. Yes, sir. Do me one favor and tell your neighbor, neighbor, I must be honest with you. I have a mind problem because every time I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul, my soul, my soul, my soul how you gonna pay your rent? All your money spent, a little bit to buy some food, baby need a pair of shoes, you might have a light bill too. Shabbat even got a gas bill too. Telephone disconnect. Wait on my next paycheck. Tell your neighbor when I think of the goodness of Jesus. have continued to press on. Hallelujah. And if you got COVID, you live through it. And I wish I had 55 survivors. Shot. I said 55 survivors to give him praise. What y'all waiting on? Tell your neighbor, don't wait. Get it, get it. Don't put that top. Put your foot down on it. Put your hands together. to be here tonight absolutely honored to be here we thank God for the presence of God 
Oh, he's been so good. Glory to God. We thank God for the set man. Thank God for the set man. Let's give it up for the one and the only superintendent, Demetrius Beecham. Amen. Pastoring two churches. One location. One church, two locations. Amen. Thank God for First Lady Beecham. God bless you, woman of God. Amen. <laughs> to everybody in your respective places, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, missionaries, and everybody else, we say God bless you. I'm glad to be in a place I've never been before. Amen. And I believe that God has something he wants to say to his church. Thank God for my brother and friend that's coming in, Pastor Peterson. Amen. Elder Montreal, we're going to the book of uh, Luke, the seventh chapter here. And we're getting ready to uh, preach. I know superintendent has to get on the road. He has to preach tonight, so I won't be long. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But I uh, intend to be strong. If you pray for us, we'll be all right. Amen. To our virtual audience, we say God bless you. Share this broadcast. Let somebody know the prophet is up. I want to prophesy right here to this woman in this blue. Would you stand and lift your hands? God say when I walked in the room that your season has changed. The enemy have tried to frustrate you. Hallelujah. He's tried to intimidate you. But there's women. Glory to God that's attached to your destiny. And I see you empowering women in this next season. The enemy that have tried to suppress you. God say I have rebuked the hand of the enemy. And I'm getting ready to cause you to progress forward like never before and I want to tell you everything that the devil have tried to fight you even in your family he sent me here all the way from St. Louis to tell you it's over my shot he come to the boho shot and I want to tell you that God's getting ready to open up some strategic doors for you financially I see you giving and saying God where are you but God say I breathe on your seed today and I'm getting ready to cause your hands to be blessed I wish somebody is shouting him hey hey listen God's mouth is too big to prophesy to one person I wish I had somebody to open your mouth and say God's get ready to move in my house he's getting he's getting ready to move in my mouth glory 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 to God hey another now some of y'all going to sit there like your grand But my rule is if you talk to God He'll talk to you Because I'll be getting on the plane in the morning with your word I'm not going to try to break through here And make you receive a prophecy But I come to tell you When the prophet shows up It's to shift your life It's to turn things around It's to announce what God's getting ready to do Somebody in here ought to give him glory Behold God. I feel Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Father. Luke the seventh chapter. Luke Sebasha. Nabasa. Can I just act like I'm in St. Louis? Do it like God give me to do it. Amen. Luke 7 and 11 says, And it came to pass the day after that they went to a city called Nain. Many of his disciples went with him and much people. Now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out. The only son of his mother, she was a widow. And much people of the city were with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, said to her, weep not. And he came and touched the bear. And they that bear, that had the bear, him stood still. And he said, young man, I say unto thee, arise. And he that was dead got up and began to speak and was delivered to his mother. I want to talk about just for a few moments, cancel the arrangements. Cancel the arrangements. It'll make sense in a minute. We are in a national pandemic. There have been 616 deaths in the United States as of Friday night. COVID-19 cases are 35.8 million. 
and the world as we know it has shifted. The church as we've known it has changed. But give notice, as superintendent talked about, this pandemic has picked up another variant. This variant, hallelujah, is to get our attention, I believe. And I believe prophetically God is saying we didn't get it the first time. So I'm going to give you a redo, so perhaps you'll get it this time. Uh, all around the country where I'm preaching, I'm seeing that people are uh, gathering back in church and they are the same, reverting to their old ways, back to entertainment, back to celebrityism, back to powerless encounters, back to having to come and pump you to praise him. But if there's some people in here that say just a little while ago, I didn't know if I was going to make it through this. Shouldn't nobody have to pump you. You ought to came in here ready. My God. I wish I had some people that says I will enter his gates with thanksgiving. I will come into his courts with praise. I will be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. I wish I had some people to say yet will I praise him because because God's been good to me. Uh, uh, don't let the PPP loans fool you. Don't let the stimulus checks fool you. Don't let all of these job sign on bonuses fool you. There is trouble in our land and God is trying to prepare the people for what's to come. Listen, I, I, there's a fight in the church. Folks arguing if you got the vaccine, arguing if you didn't get the vaccine. Whatever you decide to do, you better take the Lord along with you because I know some people that have died with the vaccine there's some people that have died without the vaccine but somebody say I'm living on I will trust in the Lord with all I wish I had somebody in here and can I tell you prophetically 20 uh, uh, this decade of the 20s is the decade hebraically for the open mouth and, and the very thing that God says that we can do speak those things that be not as though they were the COVID-19 virus came to attack your respiratory system and if you can't breathe you can't talk but I wish I had some talkers in here that say I don't need a prophet to call my name I know how to prophesy over my own life I wish I had some people in here that say I know how to speak up for me because the Bible says death and life I'm in Bible country. Look at your neighbor say it's in my mouth. My tongue is my transportation to my destiny. So I don't need nobody to talk to me. So when COVID showed up, it caused you to be unable to breathe, unable to properly articulate. But somebody say that devil should have killed me while he had a chance. But he let me make it into this season so that I can begin to speak some things into existence. Look at your neighbor say start talking start talking start we're in an hour where literally people have been overwhelmed they're at a place of weariness people have prepared suicide spiritually and naturally mm. unemployment rates are at an all time high kidnapping robberies bur burglaries bodies afflicted with sickness in an hour when church memberships are declining as a whole the United States has the lowest number of people coming to Jesus Christ in other countries. Many pastors are at their breaking point ready to throw in the towel. I know it didn't happen here in Tyler, Texas but all around the world we've had to pastor through a pandemic a place and something we never knew. What We've never gone through this. We've never been through this. I saw pastor, hallelujah, he he was on the parking lot glory to God he had speakers outside trying to make sure y'all stayed safe we had to counsel you we had to bury family members we had to glory to God psychologically intervene in situations we had to pay bills glory to God but I come today to tell you counsel the arrangements and the truth is we all have dreams aspirations prophetic words we have visions from God but the enemy have turned up the heat so much so that the question have come is it worth it am I really going to hold on to see the manifestation of my prophecy because can I tell you when you get a prophecy hallelujah all of hell is launched out against you I know we dance and we shout and we pick up our feet and we crisscross but can I tell you when you get the prophecy
opposite. It's a hallelujah. Call an ID that goes off in hell that says kill, steal, and destroy. Because the devil is, he's reactive. He didn't know who you were until God announced what he was getting ready to do. But I want to tell somebody in here to tell you that you can't die. You can't give up. You got to hold on come hell or high water. You, I don't care what the devil say. If he say you're going to be prosperous, if that's what God say, hallelujah, and the devil show up with something else, you tell that devil you's a liar. If God say you healed, I don't care that the doctors say they see a tumor, a cyst, or a growth. You go in there and say, I thank you for what you saw because now I know how to pray. But I stand on Isaiah 53 and 5 with his strength. My God, today I'm already healed. Where my Bible folks at to say whose report will you believe? I don't care how it looks right now. You got to declare out of your mouth, I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. I'm blessed when I come. I'm blessed. Y'all ain't talking to me. You got to learn how to declare over your own life. And that's what the enemy wants you to shut up. But I prophesy to every pastor and leader and I declare God's getting ready to give us a second win. Look at your neighbor say God's getting ready to give us strength to get through this season. You won't give up. You won't give in. You won't throw in the towel. You won't shut the church down. You won't become frustrated. God's going to give us innovative ideas and strategy to press forward the Bible says be not weary in well doing but in due season I can dance right there tell your neighbor I'm due a season all the hell I've been through I, I'm due yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wish I had some people to say not just a due season, but a, I'm due a season. A season to prosper. A, a season to progress. A season where the struggle won't be as difficult. What y'all looking at me for look like that? Look at your neighbor say, all the hell you been through, you do a season. You done had to fight at home, fight at work, fight your supervisor, fight with your car, fight in your business, fight in your money. Tell your neighbor, but one thing is for sure, I'm due a season. Y'all ain't talking and tell your neighbor that's why I come to church because I'm putting a demand on God I didn't come to see what you got on I don't care what you look like I don't care if you got on St. John Louis Vuitton I don't care if you got Gucci or Gucci look at your neighbor say I came for a move of God glory to God so don't be weary in well doing the enemies turned up the heat but can I tell you you got to endure the process because for every prophecy there is a process but can I just tell you don't die now we are all assigned a dash in our life a dash a date when we're born and we're given a specific amount of time to accomplish the plans the purposes and the assignments over our life but it's up to us to do what God has called us to do before we die so you got sunrise and you got sunset but the question is what you gonna do in between uh, I know we made some mistakes I haven't done everything right haven't crossed every T haven't dotted every I haven't looped every J but tell your neighbor I got time to fulfill what God told me to do and I'm going to be about my father's business because Beecham can I tell you folks going to talk about you if you do they going to talk about if you don't but can I tell you what I heard uh, the Lord say when I walked in this sanctuary he said to tell them you're about to move in a season called miracles you get ready to move he's getting ready to do something your eyes haven't seen your ears haven't heard God's getting ready to allow some creative things to happen in your life that look like weren't ever gonna happen God say this is the atmosphere that I'm getting ready to birth forth miracles why because you got a man of faith you got a pastor that walks in the gift of faith and the Bible says faith without works is dead it's impossible to please God without I wish I had some Judah worshipers in here that say we getting ready to move in a season called miracles which is a supernatural drop down to make things happen that look like one gonna happen some of y'all looking like what's a miracle a miracle is when can't nobody else do it but God hey glory to God if Renee Winston was here she would tell you like this only God can do it only God can do it but look at 
your neighbor say neighbor God's getting ready to move me to a place where miracles are getting ready to happen my God today tell your neighbor I'm getting ready to lay hands on the sick they getting ready to recover I'm getting ready to lay hands on dead bodies and they getting ready to resuscitate I'm getting ready to see folks jump out of wheelchairs you getting ready to supersede financial trajectories of your family some of y'all are getting ready to go back to school and finish school because you dropped out you ran out of money but somebody shout miracle money is getting ready to drop in my hands some of you been praying for your children I'm prophesying right now and it looks like they're still wayward but I hear the Lord say get the coat ready get the ring ready because I'm getting ready to send them back home don't you write your baby off don't you write your daughter off I don't care if they're in the whole house the crack house the white house tell your neighbor God's getting ready to work a miracle some of y'all still looking he's getting ready to give you the car without the credit he's getting ready to give you the house without the down payment he's getting ready to give you the business without the license he's getting ready to come on somebody say God is getting ready to work a miracle for me so here hallelujah do me a favor as you sit down charge your row and just shout miracles 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 hear you look behind you and just shout miracles miracles think it's not strange for what God's getting ready to do for you in this season he's getting ready to blow your mind I feel an Ephesians 3 anointing here now unto him that's able to do exceeding abundantly above all I'm preaching too early you can ask a thing tell your neighbor God's about to blow your mind as a matter of fact can I go here pastor years ago at McDonald's they had something called supersize but they stopped doing supersize because they say people were too obese but tell your neighbor what's coming to you is going to be supersize it's going to be so big you can't contain it where my people at that say I've been through enough hell I deserve a supersized blessing that's how come it's taking so long because God is enlarging hey some of these young folk back there you better receive it because God's ready to sing in the school scholarship free you ain't gonna have to pay tuition this ain't gonna be a difficult year you're gonna understand what the teacher said I wish I had some people say God's getting ready to move in my life he's getting ready to move in my situation I wish I had somebody here that says God's getting ready in just a second Woo. on your way down to your seat just shout miracles are coming Glory. somebody shout miracles are coming what about that shot somebody shout miracles are coming that devil wanted you to give up on God but somebody say he's renewing my faith right now he wanted me to double think I told you you talk to God God talk to you 
Woman in this red dress, the Lord just said to tell you, you've moved to your morning season. He speaks to you out of Psalms 30 and says, favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. I speak to the intercessor on the inside of you and the Lord say, come all the way forth. Don't you feel in this season, the enemy tried to drive you out of here, but God say, I've guarded your state, my shot. And he said, you're getting ready to move in favor. Everything you put your mind to, God said, I'm going to grant it to you. Can I just prophesy and tell you for the next 37 days? God said, if you want it to happen, ask me and watch me do it. I wish I had somebody to give her 20 seconds and shout for your sister. Shout. I said, shout in here for your sister. Shout. shout. Open your mouth and shout. But y'all want to be... And as soon as he comes in, he sees calamity. Uh, and he notices that there's a funeral processional going on. Sir, right there in that sound booth, you walked us in this sanctuary. God said, I'm getting ready to drop a creative idea on you that's getting ready to shift the financial trajectory for your family. I hear the Lord say to tell you, you are the Joseph. And there's going to be people that you're going to have to bring out that have doubted you in this past season. God said, what I'm getting ready to do for you, don't spend it. Save it because I'm going to allow you to be the distribution center. Somebody say creative idea. Entrepreneurial work. He said, I'm getting ready to give you the opportunity to move in a vein you've not ever moved in before. Oh, by shot. God said, You've worked for others, but I'm getting ready to promote you and elevate you. I even see your numbers, your retirement fund is getting ready to go to another level. God said, If you be faithful unto me, I see you getting ready to be tested, sir. If you pass this test, God say, This time next year, your financial bracket is getting ready to shift and your house is getting ready to change somebody shout new build God say because you've been faithful I wish you shouting here for that man of God y'all ain't ready y'all ain't ever oh 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 ho ho he's a runner he's a runner He's a runner, 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 he's a runner. That's it, sir. Some of y'all need to work with him. You need to work with him. You don't let your brother play spot.
a multiple amount of things at one time, Montreal. Prophesy, preach, and dance at one time. Y'all, excuse me. I promise you, I'm not bipolar. But every now and then, God will infect and interrupt what you got. Oh, we got enough. Praise him, Pastor. Praise him, Pastor. eulogized the body he showed up after she's chosen the plot to bury him Jesus shows up after the chicken has been fried for the repast have you ever felt like God showed up too late and when he shows up looks like nothing can be done but can I tell you he's an on time God and when he shows up, time has to adjust to accommodate what he says. This woman was a widow woman, the Bible says, which indicates she already lost something. She lost her husband. Oh, thank God for what a compassionate God we had. But the fact that you died, can I tell you, is an indication that God can show up. The Bible says, pick up your cross and carry it daily, crucify your flesh because God cannot and will not show up until you die. And the reason why some of us haven't seen manifestation is because you're still alive. Your flesh still alive. I know it don't happen here in Judah Worship Center, but you know there's some saints right up the street. Glory to God, they still sexting and texting, cussing and drinking, gambling, and y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all don't like the way I talk in here. But somebody said, you got to kill your flesh. Uh, y'all y'all don't, look, don't look at me like that now. Come on here. I said, you got to tell your neighbor, go and kill your flesh. Yeah, and that's when God's going to show up. When you tell what has held you hostage for long enough absolutely not I want to but I can't my spirit says no my flesh says maybe has anybody ever been there uh, y'all like Todd Hall he says that you know your future is bright when your past wants you back and some of you got to get to the place that you can look the thing that wanted you bound you can say absolutely not I'm not coming back and the fact that things have gone from bad to worse is an indication that God is on his way yeah when he comes to the when you come to the end of yourself that's the beginning of God tell your neighbor if you want God to show up plan a funeral yeah yeah plan a, tell your neighbor I'm getting ready to kill some stuff matter of fact I'm getting ready to release myself from some people some places and some things this is the season that you can't stay connected to intimidated folks Mother, you can't stay connected to people, hallelujah, that don't want to see you progress. You can't stay connected to things that's not going to help you for where you headed. Look at your neighbor say, I'm disconnected in this season. And some of us are just way too comfortable. Glory to God. But God is saying, if you want to see me move, you got to get comfortable with removing yourself from the circle. I'm not getting ready to be a part of no chaos. Don't bring me no bad news. Don't come over here gossiping and talking about nobody else I got my own hell I'm dealing with I don't care what sister Junebug what cousin Nisi is doing all I need is God to move tell your neighbor help me dig a ditch would you please I got some stuff to throw over in there oh by shot that's why we come to church not because we're perfect but because we're striving for maturity we're striving for perfection uh, you wouldn't believe some of the stuff your sister and brother is dealing with but tell your neighbor if you just help me dig a ditch God will show up on my behalf my God today come on you got to throw lying in the ditch you got to throw gambling in the ditch you got to throw stealing in the get in the ditch I know they don't steal in, in Saintsville but tell your neighbor you know when you lying to get loans that you don't qualify for you got PPP loans and you don't have a legitimate business
business you got stimulus checks y'all ain't saying nothing and you ain't had no children y'all ain't talking tell your neighbor help me dig a ditch because I was getting the money while it was there just go ahead and be real hallelujah fornication got to go in the ditch adultery got to go y'all gonna keep on sitting there looking at me like that till I call out your stuff tell your neighbor help me dig a ditch hallelujah because I want to be better I want to be greater I want to move to my next level there's been some stuff trying to attach itself and put it in the ground tell your neighbor we get ready to plan a funeral because if we plan a funeral Jesus will show up hallelujah because he understands that in order for something to live something has to die I'm in verse 13 now and it says that this woman starts crying she starts weeping the Bible says when the righteous cry the Lord hears and delivers out of all of their trouble good news good news Jesus stops the funeral <laughs> listen in order for him to show up there has to be death but when he shows up there can be no death for he is the way the truth Come on, Bible study students and the life. John 14 and 6 says that. Tell your neighbor that why I come to church is so that he can show up. I come to church so while I praise him in this house, he can go to my house and turn some things around. I didn't come for no foolishness. I didn't come for no competition. I don't care if the usher didn't hug me today. I don't care if Sister Flo Bosom didn't speak to me today. I don't care if Brother Johnny looked at me crazy. I don't care because you know what I tell my church now? We're in the season. You speak first so that you don't even give time to the enemy not to speak. Y'all ain't talking. And church folks is the only folks that will kill their own folks y'all ain't liking me hallelujah you'll crucify somebody because you found out somebody's tea they got but I wish those that were spiritual minded uh, that they would restore such a one in love and grace considering yourself uh, y'all ain't talking some folks sit back and wait uh, for our demise pastor they sit back and wait uh, for us to fall they waiting for it not to work out uh, so they'll have something to talk about uh, but I wish I had some intercessors in here to say not in this house I kill every witch and warlock every sorcerer and medium every psychic and soothsayer I wish I had some people to, 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 to say I don't come to church for foolishness now Jesus touches the casket and instantly the pallbearers stops moving I'm almost at my place now we're gonna ride up highway E flat tonight brother musicians hallelujah oh my side he stops the casket and he says Jesus speaks out of his mouth young man I say unto thee arise you must learn how to speak life out of your mouth you got to learn how to declare how it's gonna look let me hear E flat Could I please? Mm, yeah Tell your neighbor, you're going to live to see it happen. And that's what you got to learn how to look in the casket and say, live, 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 live. Because the enemy does not want you to have it. But in verse number 15, it says the very thing that was dead sits up and starts speaking. Can I tell you this proverbial young boy in this casket represents your spoken word, your prophecy, your aspirations. And Jesus is showing up and saying to your promise, get up. Oh, rise. He's speaking to your spirit today to say, come out of comfort zone. Come out of the place that it looks like it's not going to happen. So this is what happens. The boy sits up and starts speaking. For the Bible says in the book of Hebrews 2 and 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because surely it will come and not tarry can I tell you things are about to get in divine alignment 
so that the presence of God can show up for you. God's getting ready to allow some things to take place so that he can get the glory. Jobs being lost, you being under pressure, kids acting crazy, money looking funny, so that your vision can speak loud. The vision is a generational blessing. It's not just a seasonal blessing. Is there anybody that says the devil? Oh, thought I was going to die. But I got news for that devil. Let's ride, boys, and get out of here. We are getting ready to live past everything the devil said. Cancel the arrangements. People didn't know it, but this time last week, I was laying in my bed and I couldn't catch my breath and I couldn't sit up and talk. I didn't have strength to move. I was out of work. I had no taste and I had no smell. I didn't know what tomorrow was going to look like, Pastor. At the end of the week, I thought I was going to have to go to the hospital. Yes, but I laid in the bed and I said, cancel the arrangements. I'm getting ready to live through this storm. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, I survived it. I came through it. I came over it. I came from it because the devil if it had his way I'd have been out of here but I came all the way from St. Louis to tell somebody cancel cancel the arrangements yes oh yes call all the funeral homes in Fort Worth and tell them I'm not coming call Greenwood Funeral Home and tell them I'm not coming call Martin Oaks and tell them I'm not coming call Mueller Harper and Hallelujah Robertson Funeral Home and tell them I'm not coming call Lucas Funeral Home and tell them I'm not coming call Dallas Crematory and tell them I'm not coming y'all still waiting call Golden Day and tell them the funeral arrangements have been canceled you were waiting for me to die but I'm getting ready to live live and see God move on my behalf when Jesus shows up there will always be a but God experience he showed up after the wine ran out at the wedding he shows up after Jarius' daughter died he showed up after the woman had been bleeding for 12 long years but when she touched him the arrangements were canceled he showed up after the woman had an infirmity for 18 years but when he showed up he said woman thou art loose he shows up after 5,000 men plus women and children needed food they only had two fish and five loaves of bread but after he break it and gave thanks he was able to feed them and had leftovers I got to get out of here now he shows up after after Lazarus dies for four days but after Jesus shows up there's a resurrection tell your neighbor sometimes God will show up when it starts stinking he'll 
will show up after the community knows that there's been a death he'll show up after it looks like it's over but tell your neighbor cancel the arrangements there won't be a committal there won't be ashes to ashes there won't be dust to dust in this COVID-19 pandemic can I tell you today you gonna live you gonna make it you gonna come through it somebody shout over your house and tell your neighbor my house is covered with the blood even if I get it I'm I'm gonna leave even if I happen to get in contact with the variant I'm gonna live is there anybody here that says you can call all of the community lines you can call the news channel and tell them cancel the arrangement you thought that because you didn't like me that I was done with but I come to tell you no weapon formed against you shall 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 prosper tell your neighbor even my enemies and my foes came up against me to eat up my preach boy eat up my flesh but God's gonna cause them to stumble and fall I took off my glasses so I can't see your faces but I come to prophesy that God's gonna let you cancel the arrangements tell your job I might not have the degree but I'm the one cancel the arrangements your family thought you were done with but cancel the arrangements I'm getting ready to move in my business I'm getting ready to get my stuff brother man I feel like God is stretching out I got to preach one more time today but tell your neighbor God he's getting ready to go back in my future speak to what died bring it into my now because the whole earth is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God to come forth tell your neighbor pull your neighbor shake your neighbor rock them and shake them and say you get ready to come to come forth you're getting ready to move at the speed of light you getting ready I remember when superintendent was believing to get in this building and the city pulled out all kind of red tape that's the first time that we connected and I was supposed to come he said prophet they trying to take me through the ring he says but if we pray I just believe God will turn it see sometimes God will allow government folks and people that look like they in high positions to put up some yard tape to put up some red tape but tell your neighbor the, the, the heart of the king is in the heart of the Lord the hand of the Lord I'm going to say it again the heart of the king is in God's hand and he turns it whatever way that he 
wants well we started praying and two more weeks later he called and said prophet I'm in the building we getting ready to move in they tried to stop me but they can't stop what God is in thank God for a place of refuge thank God for a place of Shire of safety tell your neighbor the arrangements were canceled tell the city we getting in here tell the people we coming tell your friends I'm getting ready to manifest hit yourself and say cancel the funeral I thought it was too late but the devil is a lie tell your neighbor on August the 8th at 105 I'm coming through here I'm coming through here August 8th month new beginning eighth day new beginning 21st year open mouth moving in silence tell your neighbor I might not announce what I'm doing but I'm coming but I'm coming I'm coming through I'm breaking forth I'm getting ready come forth but I'm getting ready to bring what came forth to the one that was worthy he brought the baby to the mother my God today tell your neighbor you've cried your last tear before you got here tell your neighbor neighbor you cried your last tear before you got here my God today some of y'all need to go home and start laying hands in your house and say every demon and devil get out of here you need to go home lay hands lay hands lay hands on your kids bed put oil on the pillowcase Put oil in their shoes. Use some anointed oil in the chicken grease and say, Devil, the funeral has been canceled. Devil, the funeral shape. The devil, he should have killed me while he had a chance. But I made it. But I made it. But I made it. To the new day to the new beginning the month of new happiness the month of the supernatural the month of the miracles preach miracles look at your neighbor and say god's getting ready to turn it in my favor Overflow, increase, more than enough. Somebody shout, God's getting ready to do it for my entire legacy. My entire house is getting ready to get it because I came today. 
I know you came to hear Superintendent Beecham, but you were set up that there was a pinch hitter today. And the pinch hitter came to tell you, God is getting ready to resurrect your dream. God has canceled every funeral. They thought you wasn't going to make it. Go back to the doctor. Tell them check again. Because what you saw, I thought I was in the house of miracles. You will see it no more. in here and give him glory. Clap your hands and give him praise. When they were getting ready to go out into battle, they said, who shall we send? They said, send Judah first. Tell your neighbor we're in the house of Judah and I'm getting ready to get it first. Where the praisers at? Where the blessers at? Where the foot worshipers at? Send. Send your praise to your house. Send your praise to your job. Send your praise. Some of y'all need to send it. The way you're looking, you need to praise it. Tell your neighbor you ain't praised them in a while. Don't let just a few folks get it. Tell your neighbor this for the whole house. Hey, this is the titi Ho, shamanda, rande diriomba, fatoba shatata. Ho, atata diriomba, nada diriomba. No prophet, God's canceling what the devil tried. The devil tried, but it won't work. It won't work. Won't work. Cancel. Cancel. Hey! What are you doing? Because I believe by the time I get back to St. Louis tomorrow at 9 05, there's some things that's going to be canceled. There's some things that was trying to work against me. But he done set me up to come into the house of miracles. Oh, nigga, nigga, nigga. oh listen. Something getting ready to happen at the trumpet. I hear the Lord say, we're getting ready to explode. By shot. My God. Run that about her shot. Tell your neighbor, ask for your house. God said, you're getting ready to come out of where you are. God has bigger for you. He has better for you. There's a greater anointing coming. We got about three minutes. Let's give it to him. One, two, one, two, three, let's.
something absolutely mind-blowing in your life the next nine to ten months God say I've opened a gap manifestation da, 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 da. Somebody just shout, do it, do it, do it, come on, do it, only God can do it, only God can do it. some locked, closed doors. But I hear the Lord say, I'm going to knock the hinges off the door. He says in this season, in the level of Messiah, secret things in your heart that you have that you want God to do, that haven't been done. He said, delight yourself in him. He'll give you the desires of your heart. He says, hear me. The Lord says, tell you, hear me, I hear you. He says, and what you ask me for is already done. My God, today. God say, I'm getting ready to allow there to be light in every place the enemy have tried to keep you in a dark place. I prophesy according to Genesis 1. Let there be light. Every hidden thing be revealed to you. Oh, God say you've been helping everybody else. But God say watch me help you. God say I'm sending you divine assistance this morning. Mark it down. 122. Everything in your life goes up. Up, up, hey, everything going down is going up, up, everything going down is going up, up, everything going down is going up. the thing the devil thought he was going to kill you with. 
Some of y'all need to release it for where your business is headed. Where your ministry is headed. Where your family is headed. If you're online, go to Cash App, dollar sign, Ministry of Hope 2. Ministry of Hope 2. I can't afford not to give in this season. Dollar sign, Ministry of Hope 2. We're sowing today. Bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all can stay right in that vein. That don't bother me. Right here. Lift both of your hands, would you please? This couple. How about some more you need to sow? I see them sowing the credit card in the back. God says, out of Matthew 18, if any two of you touch as a grin, whatever you ask shall be done. I don't know what your prayer regimen is at home, but I challenge you this next season, pray together. God say, I'm going to do the absolute impossible upon your lives. There's a mantle of power that's getting ready to fall on the both of you. And God say, I'm getting ready to do what your eyes haven't seen and your ears haven't heard. There's a greater connectivity that God's getting ready to, uh, in syncness, that he's getting ready to give you as it concerns your marriage. God said that even as you study and you break down the word, I'm going to illumine it. It's going to come alive unto you. He says this next season you're about to move in, even as you read the word, this word is going to, it's like everything's going to start clicking. I'm not saying they didn't click before, but there's like an anointing, of the prophetic teacher that comes upon thee. And he says, I'm getting ready to go back even 20 years. Glory to God. And where there has been behind schedulness, God say, I'm going to make it up. My God today. He says, count it not for the time it looked like you lost. I'm going to make it up. Woman of God, restoration hits your life. He says, I'll restore unto you the years the canker worm, the pommel worm, and the locust have stolen from you. I even see seminars and training development classes that look like. And God say, I'm getting ready, glory to God, to empower you to empower others. Glory to God. He say, I didn't bring you out just for you but there's a whole line of people connected behind you so think it not strange for the impact you're getting ready to make with your family as I talk to her God say I drop wisdom and I drop money on your head sir lift your hands he said I'm getting ready to blow your mind don't let this word pass you by I want y'all to figure out when you're going to pray together and God say I'm going to strengthen that way which remains. Woman of God, I'm looking at blueprints now. And the Lord say, and it is so. Oh, Somebody ought to scream right there. Somebody ought to scream right there. Y'all ready for me to go in just a second? I said scream right There's a few more of you can sow that $50 seed. I know some have already given, like I have on Cash App. You swipe your card, oh bye. But tell your neighbor, you can't afford not to give. You can't afford not to give. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless his name. Hey, oh, bless his name. Basata, hold it right here and I'm getting ready to allow y'all to come right there the Lord says there's getting ready to be a reworking of some paperwork for you I don't know whatever would try to work against you God said I'm getting ready to redo numbers 
that's going to work in your favor. He said, God say, as your heart has been turning towards me, I've been turning things that have tried to work against you and even from past relationships away from thee. My God, seemingly there is a ravening wolf that every time you make a step forward, that mouth opens. Ah, but God say tonight, I silence the mouth of the gang chair. The next chair. And he said, I'm getting ready to blow your mind. Somebody shall rework it for him, God. Come on, open your mouth and shall rework it for him. If you're not jealous, you ought to praise him for your trajectory of your life says God somebody give him praise atmosphere. You need to let the devil know what you tried will not work. Come on from where y'all. Come on from where y'all. Whatever the thank you ma'am. Oh, Shabbat. Hey, la la ba. Oh, ba ba. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, mother. Thank you so much. Thank you. Some more of you need to move. Dollar sign, Ministry of Hope 2. Ministry of Hope, Shantai. Hey, Abba. 
Sir, lift your hands right here. Ah, oh, hiya. Hey, I'm that. Oh, 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 hey, hey. I'm on the other. Right there, that other shot. Everyone give it. I'm about to set up. I'm getting ready to be done. Oh, but the Lord said, tell him I'm getting ready to move in his body. I love that. And he sent this word. Heal them from this ease. Anything that calls you not to be at ease, God say, I remove you from it. Ha. You are about to move into a season of productivity like never before. God says, you are a seer. And the enemy would try to frustrate about with situations, circumstances, and trials. But the Lord says, I open up a window of opportunity for you to come through. And I decree and declare that every shift you need to make, dietary, every shift you need to make, spiritually, because I see you jumping up at like two and three in the morning. God says, you walk getting ready to give you strategy there's been things your leader's been praying for you see it before it happens the enemy tries to muscle your mouth but I break the muscle and I prophesy that the boldness of the Holy Ghost is about to come upon you like never before and I prophesy in your house there shall be a rekindling and I prophesy that everything that's out of order in your body God say I bring it into divine alignment somebody shout for your brother right now I said shout for your brother Superintendent, thank you for this opportunity. 